My girlfriend and I would like to scare each other by joking that our dog could see ghosts in the living room. The dog would constantly stand in our bedroom, looking through the doorway and stare seemingly into nothing. She would just be too afraid to go in. If one of us were to pass through to the living room, she would sometimes follow. And yet, the animal would still be looking around into the empty corners of the ceiling. This would only happen at specific times of day, usually when it got dark outside. For the most part, we brushed it off as nonsense. We told ourselves, the dog is just afraid of shadows. Though, whenever it would occur, we would both feel a little on edge. Who knows what the animal can perceive? Something that existed around the apartment, but neither of us were able to see it? We could both feel the hairs on the back of our necks prickle up just slightly. My girlfriend had to go out of town to take care of some business for a few days, so I was left alone in the apartment. One evening, I was getting ready to walk the dog and as I went out, I left the lights on since I'd be coming back soon anyway. While waiting for the dog to finish, I'm standing around, breathing in the cool autumn air, but I noticed something odd. We live on the second floor, so you can see the windows of our apartment from the outside. I had forgotten to close the curtains, and inside, I could see someone moving around. Someone was in my home. I had almost started running back, thinking someone had broken in, but then I saw it. From afar, I could only make out some long appendages and the fleshy red appearance. Whatever it was inside, it did not look human. After a moment, it disappeared somewhere away from the windows. The dog started to growl and grunt, probably sensing my anxiety. Yet I was transfixed, watching the window for more movement, seeing shadows. My imagination was running wild. My heart was pounding and I was not sure what to do. Eventually, I summoned enough willpower and made the first step back. Gradually, I paced to the entrance of the building. Climbing the single flight of stairs took an exceptional amount of strength. My whole body was pulling away, but I tried to pacify myself, saying it was just my imagination getting the better of me. I made my way to the door of my flat and with shaking hands I scrambled for the keys. The dog started to growl and tense up, as if faced with something threatening. I opened the door slowly, and thankfully the lights were still on. Sweating profusely, I walked into what was recently a safe place. My home, now the most hostile location I could think of. Every primal instinct was telling me to run away from here, but I needed to see. This was my home, and I needed to know what I saw. I slowly crept through my apartment, peeking around every corner, checking the kitchen and the bedroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. The silence and emptiness was almost worse. When I got to the living room, I relaxed a little bit, since I couldn't see anybody, or anything for that matter. That's when the dog started growling and barking towards the sofa. Suddenly, the tension came back with a whiplash, and a shiver ran down my spine. I took my flashlight and shined some light under the couch. And that's when I saw them. Long claw marks on the floor, etched into the linoleum. I ran my fingers over the bumps. It was real enough to make my heart feel like bursting. I stood up walked to my bedroom and sat there with the flashlight, lights on, dog by my side, and waiting. I waited till the sun came up. After that night, whenever I would leave the apartment to walk the dog, I always closed the curtains and turned off the light. Never told my girlfriend about what I saw either.